This week, I'm gonna talk about the recent article that came out that was backed by RBC Research. I had just about everybody send it to me and they said, LJ, prices are gonna decrease by 15 to 20%. Look, the news is saying it. What are we gonna do? And I said, first of all, they're predicting a 15 to 20% decrease in price on a national level. Now, what that means is that there's a couple markets that really kind of move real estate in Canada, particularly Toronto and Vancouver. I suspect that those markets are gonna be hit a little bit harder than a market like Montreal. They're usually the ones that feel shifts before anybody else. Secondly, Montreal was really kind of climbing up the ranks. We were trying to catch up to what our valuation should be like, but had not been like previously. I think that in Montreal, we'll probably see maybe a five to 10 price correction. And what this means is that in a worst case scenario, in my prediction, we're gonna get back to January, 2022 prices, okay? That means that we're simply gonna eliminate the gains that we had in the first half of this year over the last six months. Is that really that bad? Probably not. Most people buying real estate should be buying for a long term. I tell people that you should be planning on staying in a property for at least five years in order to really be in the money and get the gains from it. If you were intending on buying a property to try and make a quick profit in less than five years or let's say in 12 months, chances are you're going to be in trouble because the appreciation that we had been seeing previously is not normal. What we lived through for the last three years is completely out of the norm. And we have to get back to remembering that real estate is a longer term investment, a slower play, and that even if there is a correction, things will bounce back over a couple years time. Remember that next time you read an article that sounds very scary.